Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you will understand the process of resolving exceptions that occur during import, repair, migration, and synchronization. Tally Prime ensures that whenever you import, repair, migrate, or synchronize data, the process is seamless and successful. However, there can be some instances in which the data has some exceptions such as a missing dependent master, invalid characters, or a piece of missing information in a master or transaction. Tally Prime Release 3.0 brings in the facility that helps you not only to identify the exceptions during the process but also resolve those so that the respective masters or transactions become part of the data with the appropriate details. Whenever there are exceptions, Tally Prime shows the alphabet E on Gateway of Tally, which reminds you to resolve exceptions. First, let's see how to resolve exceptions that occur during import. Consider that you imported a set of masters and transactions that have exceptions. In such cases, you will get a message that informs you about the exceptions during the import. There can be various types of exceptions, such as the exceptions that occur due to the unavailability of some of the dependent masters. For example, a stock item is imported, but its parent stock group is neither a part of the data to which it is imported nor in the exported file. It may also happen that the unit of measurement is not present in the destination company. In such cases, Tally Prime identifies the master as exception. The masters or vouchers with exceptions will not be a part of the company data until you resolve the exceptions. First of all, let's see how to configure the behavior of import to ensure that the exceptions during import are recorded. Press Alt plus O. Configuration behavior of import when exceptions exist and press enter by default stop import at first exception is selected this ensures that in case of exceptions the import will not continue and stop you will need to resolve exceptions in such masters or transactions in the source data and then import you can ignore exceptions and import when you know that there are some exceptions and you want to ignore those during import. Record exceptions and import ensures that the import takes place seamlessly while you can easily identify the exceptions and resolve thereafter. In this case, the exceptions systematically get listed while the rest of the masters or transactions get imported seamlessly. Press Enter and then press Ctrl plus E to save the setting. It is important to note that the import configuration will also be applicable to data synchronization. If there are any exceptions during data synchronization, Tally Prime will record those exceptions in the report only when this configuration is set as Record Exceptions and Import. Now, let's import some masters to this company. Press Alt plus O for Import, Masters, and press Enter. In the Import Masters screen, select the file path where the data is located. Specify path by copying the file path and pasting it here. Select the file to import. As you can see, an information message appears to inform you that there are exceptions. Press any key to continue. Similarly, let's import some transactions. Press Alt plus O for import. Transactions. And press enter. In the import transaction screen, select the file path where the data is located. Specify path by copying the file path and pasting it here. Select the file to import. As you can see, an information message appears to inform you that there are exceptions. Press any key to continue. Now, let's see how to navigate to those exceptions and resolve. Under import, select exceptions and press enter. 
As you can see, all the exceptions are listed based on their nature. Moreover, the master related exceptions and voucher related exceptions are listed separately. Press Ctrl plus H to change view. All exceptions and press enter. This shows you the number of exceptions in import, repair or migrate and synchronization. The nature of exceptions can be easily identified in the report. Date of opening balance is missing, reference master is missing, formal name contains invalid characters and all others can be resolved. For instance, let's drill down on date of closing balance is earlier than the book's beginning from date. Drill down further to the ledger. You can see the details of the exception. Drill down further and the ledger opens where you can make changes to resolve the exception. Change the closing balance date as applicable and press Ctrl plus A to save. As you can see, the ledger has disappeared from the exception report as it has become a part of your company data. Open chart of accounts to view the ledger. Press Alt plus G. Type or select chart of accounts and press enter. As you can see, the ledger has started appearing in chart of accounts. Press escape to get back to the exceptions report. Now, let's take another example. Drill down to reference master is missing. This exception occurs when a master that is used in a ledger or transaction is missing in your company data. In such a case, you need to create the master in your company to resolve the exception. Let's say you want to resolve an exception in unit. Drill down to the unit section. You can see the count of the affected masters. Drill down to the count. This will show you the stock items affected due to the missing master. If you create the unit, even the exceptions of these stock items will get resolved. Now, press escape. You can see the master types and the number of masters that are missing in other exceptions. Press enter on unit under referenced master. You can view all the missing referenced masters. Press enter on the master that you want to create. As you can see, you are on the unit creation screen. Enter the formal name and select the unit quantity code. Press Ctrl plus A to save. As you can see, the exception regarding the unit got resolved. As a result, the exceptions of the stock items that were affected due to the missing unit get resolved. You can also alter multiple masters on a single screen to resolve exceptions. Let's drill down to formal name contains invalid characters. Drill down further and press Alt plus H to alter multiple masters. Enter the correct formal names for the respective masters and press Ctrl plus A to save. The exceptions get resolved. Press escape to go back. Now, some masters may not be having a parent group. In such cases, drill down to parent group is missing. Drill down further and press Alt plus U to update details. You can update the masters with the appropriate parent groups on the screen itself. You can, however, drill down to the master itself to update the details. Consider a situation that you create the master with the appropriate group outside of this report. Thereafter, if you drill down further to resolve the exception, then you get a message. Press Y and the master will disappear from the exceptions report as the exception is resolved. Similarly, you can resolve other exceptions during import, repair, migration or synchronization. 
tally prime ensures that the masters and transactions present in the books with all the valid details do not get overwritten by an imported or synchronized master of the same name with invalid details. Now, let's see how to navigate to the exceptions report of repair or migration and synchronization. You can view the exceptions of repair from repair summary report and those of migration from the migration summary report. Just press Alt plus X and you can view the exceptions. However, you may want to resolve exceptions later. Press F1. Troubleshooting. Repair or migrate exceptions. And press Enter. As you can see, similar to import, you can identify the nature of exceptions and go on to resolve the same. Now, let us view exceptions of synchronization. The exceptions of synchronization get recorded in the exceptions report only when import is configured with record exceptions and import. Press Alt plus Z. Sync reports. Sync exceptions. You can filter the exceptions report to view the required information. Press F4. Under Rule Type, you can apply the rule to master or transactions as needed. Under Rule Name, you can select the specific synchronization rule as per your requirement. A server may be receiving data from more than one client. So, the company on license server may have multiple active master and transaction rules from one or more client companies. From this screen, you can easily select a specific rule to resolve exceptions. As you can see, only the master containing the information as per the specified rule is displayed. You can view a report that consists the exceptions of all processes, import, repair, migration, and synchronization. This gives a complete view of exceptions that are pending to be resolved for the respective activities. Press Alt plus Y. All exceptions. And press Enter. Drill down to the respective activities to view the exceptions. As you saw, Tally Prime Release 3.0 eases data management as you can easily identify and resolve exceptions that occur during import, repair, migration, and synchronization. Thank you.